everyone and welcome back thanks for checking into my channel today i feel a little bit more excited i normally do when i'm gonna do reviews on men's perfumes maybe because it's a bit more of a challenge and i feel a little bit more responsible for some reason i don't know uh, because when i do female perfumes i just spray and I'm, i like that i can wear that but i'm not gonna wear these perfumes here so yeah it's a bit of a challenge i think I don't know if that makes sense really, but whatever. Today we're gonna go through my top 10 favorite perfumes for men for summer. And as usual when I say top 10, I'm not gonna put them in any specific order. Okay, we're still in lockdown in Spain, so now we have police helicopters and stuff. It's a, it's things going on here. So sorry for the noise. And let's start with my favorite one from Hermès, and that's Terre d'Hermès. Autre Fresh and also Terre d'Hermé Parfum. These two are my favorite ones. However, I would prefer the Autre Fresh one for summertime because it is fresher and it has a little bit more citrus. It's more ozonic and aquatic uh, while they both have these earthy tones. Uh, they are quite woody, but Autre Fresh is definitely the fresher version. They are still spicy and they have really good lasting power and Hermes is quality. I think Hermes should be equal to Chanel in the perfume world because I really think they have this original quality. They, they all have this special DNA just like in the Chanel perfumes. I find the Hermes wants to have something that you can tell they are Hermes and there you can tell you have an a class perfume. Next up is another one of my favorite brands for men and that's from Yves Saint Laurent and this is L'Homme Ete. So L'Homme original could easily qualify to my top 10 as well but I find Ete to be a little bit more of a summer version. Uh, apart from the citrus and the Lavender that you find in the original one. This one also has a bit of more green. It has vetiver and has a bit of basil. This kind of herbs that makes it more airy and fresh. So you have that as well. And of course you have the tonka, just like the original. So it's also have a bit of sweetness to make it more rounder. And I found this perfume to be really, really nice and hot. I love this perfume. This is actually... Uh, Yves Saint Laurent L'Homme eh, La Nuit, La Nuit de L'Homme, no, yeah, La Nuit de L'Homme is actually my favorite perfume for men over all time. So imagine this is a summer version of that one. I also have a couple of niche perfumes here on the list today, and the first one is from Parfum de Marly, it's Leighton, and it's really hard to describe what this smells like because it has a lot of things going on, but if you check the notes, they are very similar to the previous one from L'Homme, Ete. It has the bergamot, it has the lavender, violet, it has a bit of vanilla oh, instead of tonka then. So it has these similar notes, but it's something that makes this smell more unique, more original. I know it's a niche perfume, so they do have more oil in the base. So of course that probably contributes to this. Um, but definitely it's very fresh, it's spicy and this could easily be a signature scent. Uh, it has really good lasting power and I think it's one of my favorite perfumes for men. And then I have a perfume from Creed and this is Virgin Island Water. And this is summer. I mean, this is a true summer perfume. This is a perfume you wear in summertime when it's hot. I mean, it, it wouldn't go so well in winter. Because if you check the notes, um, you have coconut, you have citrus, you have rum, you have all these kind of notes that make you think of summer. Yeah, and it also has sugar cane, yeah, yeah, the white rum as I mentioned, you find the ylang ylang. So it's an interesting perfume, but definitely for summer, and it doesn't smell cheap at all just because it has coconut and things like that. It's actually very fresh and still classy summer scent. 
and it's also very long lasting. And since we're already into the niche perfumes, I also want to mention my next one, which is from Roca Perfumes, and that's Elysium. And Elysium is also very special, it's very unique. Although it's a citrus perfume, it's very original, and for sure you won't smell like anyone else wearing this perfume. Uh, it has a lot of citrus, it has a little bit of juniper and vanilla as well, and it's very original and definitely this could also be a signature scent, I think. Where was I? Okay, we've been in quarantine almost two months here in Spain. Let me out of here. There's so much I want to do because there's so many perfumes coming out, first of all. Okay, there's much other things I want to do, but when it comes to this part, Dolce Gabbana is releasing some perfumes this summer and I can't wait to find out more about them because I know they're going to be good because they always make good perfumes for summer. Which takes us to the next perfume from Dolce & Gabbana and of course I'm talking about light blue. There's no top 10 summer perfume without a light blue, you know that. That's the most safe perfume you can buy for summer and uh, I would put Intense here on the top of those in this line. However, the flankers are really nice as well. We have Sun and Italian Zest. So Dolce Gabbana's Light Blue is safe by in summer and they are not as any citrus perfumes. They are, I find, original. Even though they are so common, the scent itself is so original. I mean, it's the best citrus perfumes for summer for men I think. Yeah, that's why it's still out there. That's why it's always gonna be available for us, I think. Just as for women. And then finally a perfume from Chanel. And this is Bleu de Chanel. And I would go for Eau de Parfum here because I found this one to be more interesting. It has a little bit more going on here. It's a spicy citrus a citrus oriental I would say because it's quite spicy and it has all this citrus it's sexy it's really masculine and classy it's elegant I mean this is an awesome scent not only for summer I think for fall as well but definitely it's a hot perfume that women love so Bleu de Chanel and you can go for the perfume one or in my opinion Eau de Parfum for summertime which leads us to my favorite perfume for men summertime overall. This is my favorite. Forget about the rest. No, I'm kidding. The other ones are really good, of course. I choose them. Uh, but this one is my absolutely favorite for men. And it's a niche perfume from Armaf. I hope I pronounced that correct and it's called Club de la Nuit Intense Man. Wow, what a perfume. Wow, that's my absolutely favorite for all. I'm so glad I saved this one for last because it is in its own league. I mean, wow, what a perfume. <laughs> it's not only a fresh citrus, it also has some depth to it. It's smoky, it's, I mean, something dark into it as well. So it's so classy and elegant and sexy and it's long lasting. I mean, it's unique easily. It could be a signature perfume as well. And there you go. It's from Armaf. I don't know so much about the house, but this perfume is just top. So yeah, this was it for today. I mean, you have 10 good picks here. You can't fail with any of them. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be super happy if you subscribe and like my video. You watched until now, so hopefully you liked it and it will also help me to move forward with my channel. So thank you so much for watching and take very good care everyone. Bye bye.